Thank you, Jay. A young single mom's journey with cancer has reached beyond the town of Marshall, Minnesota, all the way to Brookings, South Dakota. 24-year-old Rachel Moat was diagnosed with colon cancer in November of 2022. What followed was a year of treatment, loss, and by the end of it all, a fulfilled dream. Kyla Land's Renee Ortiz shares her story. Rachel Moat found out she had an aggressive form of colon cancer while she was pregnant. Treatment was put on hold until her daughter, Jada, was born. But in January of 2023, Jada got sick. They tested her. She came back with RSV and we got shipped up to Minneapolis for pretty much almost a whole month. Once more, Moat decided to wait on treatment. I needed to keep my head for her and not lose it. and break down and anything. I fought for her and she fought for me. After multiple infections, doctors removed Moat's colon in July and she started chemo in August. But her journey to recovery would have to happen without someone who had been her rock, her grandma Flo. Me and her were each other's support system and I lost her, but I knew I could be a fighter and all that because she always called me her little fighter. Moat continued on, wearing a smile throughout chemo. Around Christmas, the staff selected Moat as the recipient of the Christmas Angel Project. When I talked with the team as to who they would like to share gifts with this year, it was pretty quick response that um, Rachel's story is definitely one that's touched our team's heart from the very beginning. When staff at Avera Health asked Rachel what her Christmas angel gift would be, they told her to dream big. She said she wanted nothing more than to see her favorite artists in concert. What she got was so much more. Hey Rachel, Scotty here. So a little birdie told me you're coming out to our show in Brookings, South Dakota in a couple months and we are excited to have you out there. I was like, oh my God, this can't, can't be happening. This can't be real. I'm dreaming. This is all a dream. Avera staff worked with Dakota Bank and Dakota Bank Center to create an experience for Moat. She's been an amazing inspiration to traveling through treatment, but also being a mom. Just her attitude, um, going through the process that she's going through with the treatments and everything, uh, the impact that she has on the staff at the hospital. Moat says this gift fulfills a lifelong dream and is a chance for her to feel close with her grandma. We would listen to his music. We would have it playing either on the TV or through a speaker or on my phone. We would just have it playing all the time and it brought her joy, it brought me joy. In Marshall, Minnesota, Renee Ortiz, Kelloland News. Love her positive outlook. Now, Mo, she finished her chemo treatments just last week. Her gift included four concert tickets, backstage passes, dinner at Whiskey Creek, and a hotel room for an overnight stay. Moat and three of her friends will be heading to Brookings tomorrow afternoon. Afterwards, she will head backstage to meet McCreary.